Hi everyone, today I'm going to show some scripts that make my life easier when I'm using Google Meet for meetings. So you may already have seen the pesky dialog box that appears when uh, you are sharing your screen. So this is actually not an issue for the people who are using desktop environments because you can hide them hide the dialog box directly but in case of tiling window managers even if you click on the hide button it doesn't actually hide it although you can uh, do one thing and uh, like for example in i3 it is possible to send the window to the scratch pad and that way uh, you don't need to see it in front of your face but uh, then again you lose uh, the feature that uh, in case you were doing something and sharing it to someone and then you forgot to close the window and you are now sharing the sharing your window for all of the people to see so it might turn embarrassing sometimes so uh, in order to oh, have a better fix for that i have developed this script so let me first demonstrate so um, first i'm going to generate a google meet link for myself so in order to do that i actually have a, a link here so let me okay so here i have uh, created a simple script that helps me to uh, generate uh, google meet link so it is not actually part but i simply want to show and this script is available in my github in case you want to try it out so it essentially uses the google calendar api to generate a google meet link so here i have opened a google meet window let me mute and hide myself so here if i try to share my screen uh, you will notice that i do not have that pesky weird window thing instead uh, in my i3 blocks you, you see that there is a special block that tells me that um, my screen is being shared and if i close it i mean close my sharing as well as the window you'll notice that after some time it disappeared and it let me know that i have uh, stopped sharing my screen so first of all um, let's go to the i3 config so you see here here uh, it searches for this particular window and if that window exits exists it's it moves it to the scratch pad and then signals the 19 numbers 19 number signal to i3 blocks and then it runs the script gms now let's look at what this gms script is and then also open the okay so here so let's look at all of this together first of all uh, this window this window is moved to the scratch pad okay and then we signal the i3 blocks so when this is signal it runs the gmit script so this is going to uh, call and search for this particular window if that exists then it will show the share button that you saw before while if it doesn't it shows nothing just the blank now uh, this script then ends and it is only used for refreshing the block and it is activated by the 19 signal while uh, we also start the gms script now what the gms gms script does is it will run in a loop and every it will sleep for 30 seconds and it will refresh the i3 block so during that refresh in case if the if you stop the uh, stop the sharing then it will notice that and then it will it will hide the shared window message now uh, why and why am i using the gms script 
that that is because uh, although you can uh, do one thing is that which is uh, you can set a permanent interval in i3 blocks so that it refreshes every 30 seconds but i do not want to run it forever so instead of this what i do is um, refresh it manually every 30 seconds and when the window exits I, I do not need to keep on refreshing for uh, the new value every 30 seconds so if it does not find if the gms script does not find the window after it's done it will exit itself I'd, i am actually new to bash scripting and maybe this is not a very efficient method but uh, here it is in case you want to try it out for yourself too